All right, let's talk about the uh, poly digit one preset at a time. So first we're gonna go over here to load. I'm going to load the basic delay. And that is indeed a very basic delay. But this isn't really about delay, this, this pedal. Uh, I accidentally hit add effect. We wanna go back to load, this little save icon. Alright, um, bass filter. This probably sounds better on bass, but you can see how these uh, paths get more complex. So let's go back. Let's try a basic reverb. So we have reverb. get more interesting. Next, let's do direct guitar. So we have a lot of modules here. And let's let's look at the mono EQ. Maybe. Yeah. Click on the eyeball icon. I know you can't really see that. You see there's an EQ, but nothing has been done to this, so let's drag some things and you can hear how it sounds different. I mean, it's an EQ. Very different. It's a six band EQ. You can move anything around with your fingers. Um, turn off certain bands if you just don't care about them. And see how that changes things. This is actually pretty fun. module and see some stats about it. Make some adjustments if you want to. And I just deleted that entire module by accident. Because it's actually pretty easy to do that by accident. So that foot switch is not attached to anything. I'm going to try to attach it to the delay now. polydigit can do from these other um, presets that other people, namely Loki, has already done. Because there's a lot here, this gives you ideas, this shows you what's possible, and it has some simple and some, like this one, very complex. So one thing, this is, does two things very, very well, is uh, reverbs and uh, cab sims. So there are dozens of cab sims. Two power amp sounds, but Loki recommends uh, right now running a drive, just some sort of drive before the pedal. I really like the options here. Go through a couple of them. A lot of them are the same cab and just different miking techniques or different microphones. really a lot of options. I keep 
I'm accidentally exiting out instead of going where I want to go. Which is uh, nothing that's easy to do. I like the super champ sounds. You see, this has different microphones and uh, different miking techniques. Yeah. This also has some foot switch options. It has another uh, graphic EQ here. switch. Some reverse happening. So I'm trying to tap this foot switch because I don't realize yet that it is um, latching. Sorry for the bouncing, my shelf is loose. I keep trying to hold it. I don't know why. Now I see on the middle bar it's latching. And now the freeze works. It's amazing how things work when you do them right. Hit it again to make the freeze stop. So I didn't record this in stereo so you wouldn't really hear the panning correctly. The, a panning with an LFO or low frequency oscillator attached will make a kind of a tremolo sound. And so it's uh, going between two reverbs. something that um to see which to see which reverb it is because i assume it's two different reverbs if they're stereo uh you just tap on it and you can see which reverb is right there before the reverb. You want to put the EQs before the effects uh, that you want to control, not after. Actually, let's, let's look at that. Stark as an EQ before a cab. But still something. Something that you won't really find in a lot of other places. You can hear how how different that sounds with that fifth band on and off. I like to see how dumb I can make things sound sometimes because it really makes you appreciate how good things can sound sometimes. You're getting a full reverse here, which is really neat. This can happen in real time um, because there's no direct from the in to the out. So you're just 
just getting that reverse signal. This is the trails. So that's why in most of these you'll see uh, a line going from the in to out, even if, with the other things that are uh, mapped within it. This is two freezes attached to, I think, a stereo reverb. Controlled by a latching foot switch, which sounds pretty neat. Multi delay. Count four delays. Wow. <laughs> I gotta turn them on first, huh? It's gonna be one of these foot switches. I mean, I get why you would want to have this kind of like two foot switch situation. Like maybe you just want part of the effects to turn on, especially if it's for a specific song. That is pretty, that could be really neat. Um, this does have a set, you can save a set list uh, in this as well. So each song that in your set list can have its own preset. So uh, B was the latching on and off of the delays and A is the tap tempo. That's how this is set up currently. What's next? And this is just the trails on the delay, the same way that the reverse was. Not, not that exciting, but you know. So that does not have a straight line to it. Reverse double frip. stop blindly hitting foot switches before looking to see if they're tap or latching. That was latching. So you can turn the second delay on or off. channel going from in to the regular reverb into the reverse to stare your channels out. Reverse swell. So switch one, that's not latching. This other foot switch is latching. So that makes it swell. I love the sound of the delay with the reverse also on the delay. Got that swell going again. Now this one has an auto swell. It also has a freeze that should be going all the time and a delay that's attached to an LFO. And you can use the LFO to control a number of things. Uh, when I've been playing around with this, I've used it to control um, the, uh, 
of the, the, the time on the delay. That's, that's how I like to use it. Stereo dreams, not gonna be so dreamy for us because this is in mono. Oh, not gonna be dreamy at all. Uh, this is one bug that I've noticed. Um, occasionally, the presets, if they're too complex, won't load. So let's try a different one. I don't know if it's that they're too complex, just a couple of them. I've really just that one as we go through this was acting up. Got an auto swell, got a freeze. This is all trails because no, there's no direct signal. Very dreamy. Uh, tap delay doesn't sound interesting. Let's go to tape damage. Now this has a, the saturation and warmth modules, which just for full disclosure, to my ear, I can't get a lot from them. This has an attentive Vader going from the LFO. It's just, I think it says, it's like, a, it has, it's a weird word that I think is not real. But, uh, so this is the warmth. You can hear some difference, it's just nothing, it's subtle. And there's nothing wrong with that. Usually you put this on the, uh, between the delay and the LFO to, uh, make that modulation um, to mellow it out. Hit the foot switches, nothing happens because there are no foot switches attached. Yeah, so that was a very subtle sound to me, but it actually sounds really nice and warm. See, this is one direct line, one delay line with the LFO. That's a, that's a lot of flutter and wow, so... Uh, I don't I don't really like that. I'm gonna try to add this this actually is not gonna do anything. Cause I'm this is not how you're supposed to use this part, but uh just to show that, you know, not all of the modules play with the others. Um, unfortunately it's not some big handbook or manual, it doesn't have like this doesn't play with this, this does play with this. That's one of the reasons I wanted to go through all of these um, these presets to see what's worked for, for Loki uh, and other other users who have who have had this demo unit before it came to me. Yeah. This is actually so uh, aggressive that's kind of giving me a stomach ache. So let's uh, let's let's get out of this one. I think there's just one more. Again, not stereo, so tremolo pan isn't really gonna do anything. But you can see how this can become a simple tremolo. Yeah. Those are those are the the bulk of the presets. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh like and subscribe and leave a comment unless you're gonna say something mean that don't say anything at all goodbye